how to manually adjust your wheel torque on these next gen small wheel loaders. Now, out of factory as default, they're going to be in an auto wheel torque mode, as you can see here from the main settings banner. So if I go ahead and hit my auto wheel torque and I go ahead and turn that off, I'm greeted with the ability to decrease or increase with the plus minus, or I can grab that guy and increase, decrease with my finger, or my favorite way, I can actually reach down with the jog dial and I can dial it down or I can dial it up. Now let's go ahead and make the setting together. And our coaching is start in high if you're gonna manually make the adjustment, park brake off, I'm gonna put the machine in gear, I'm gonna go ahead and plunge into this pile of sand, lift to set my tires, and you can see here I'm scratching my tires. I can now dial the wheel torque down through the jog dial, or I can reach up and dial it down with the negative. There, so you can hear that machine unload. Maybe one more with the jog dial. Boom, perfect. I'm no longer scratching my tires in that medium setting, and I'm kind of on a sandy covered concrete surface. So medium looks to be the appropriate setting for today's conditions on this sandy covered concrete. Now let me put all of that together in one fluid cycle for you. Don't want to be burning up that rubber. Max wheel torque is before you spin the tires. After you're spinning the tires, you're just burning up rubber and you're actually losing performance. So setting them so they don't spin is your optimal cost and your optimal performance way to run a loader. So you can see here manually we found the sweet spot for today's conditions in today's environment. We would certainly recommend you use the auto feature though because then changing conditions is just going to automatically do it for you. Now if you're the type of operator who demands that you can have that max, max performance out of a machine and you want to feel the aggressive nature of these next gen small loaders, pro tip for you. You can actually come in here into the machine and we can set one of these joystick buttons up through the joystick button configuration to be a max wheel torque override and that's what we've got here. Max wheel torque is going to be the center button on the back of this joystick. So with that set, I can go back to my home screen, I can set that back into auto, let the technology work for us, and I've still got control with an override if I think that I need it. So let's go ahead and plunge this machine back into the pile, back in auto wheel torque, into my home screen. I'm going to plunge, I'm going to lift, I'm going to set, and you can see auto wheel torque's working for me, no tire spin. But if I go ahead and pull that trigger, you can see just a little bit of chirp in there, that wheel torque going to max overrid the technology and now I'm really scrubbing rubber again and I've got the maximum amount of push. So technology can work for you as standard without poking buttons and will of course still give you an override if you feel that that machine's got a little bit more push. New technology, standard as default is auto mode. Give it a try. I think you're going to like it. Next Gen Small Wheel Loaders.